we hung out with hawks and falcons here in downtown Detroit. It was actually hilarious watching people watch them here in campus marshes, which is a very rare sight. But these birds we learned have a very important job to do. There's a starling there. Falconry in the D. Birds of prey hard at work. It's all right. That's a girl. That's a girl. That's Ruth, a Harris hawk, and her partner, Yeti, the Saker Falcon. We'll be around for about the next seven months. Who knew birds of prey part of the NFL draft preparation here in downtown Detroit? And then we're walking around with these birds and we're using them as a visual cue to keep away starlings and pigeons from the area here. Paul and Therese Thomas, partners in life, partners on the job. They own Scare Force Falconry, emphasis on scare, called in by the company Bedrock Detroit to take care of this. Thousands and thousands of starlings invading buildings. They sit there for 10 or 12 hours all night just pooping down the side of the building. There's the poop and they're just an overall nuisance. That's where Ruth and Yeti come in. It'd be like if you were uh, walking down the street and saw a dragon fly over, you know, very similar that it strikes fear into their heart. Trolling the area around campus marshes five evenings a week, sounds and sights to scare off the starlings. It'll take probably about a month to train them. That's essentially what we're doing. We're training them that you're not going to be able to sleep here. We're going to come through. We're going to shine lasers on you. He did say lasers. That's part of this bird abatement too. So I'm just going to start on this corner here and I'll go across like this and I'll move it real slow. Ruth and Yeti outfitted with ankle cuffs, tethers and a spot for a GPS, but they're trained well to come back to Paul and Therese. The reason that they stay with us, the symbiotic relationship we built is just they know we're a meal ticket. The whole falconry thing, it works even for pigeons crashing our interview. Logically, what's going to happen right now? Ah. <laughs> Come NFL draft time, the four Bedrock Detroit buildings they patrol will be ready for the masses. We are honored to serve the good citizens of Detroit and the NFL draft and protect them from bird poop.